and we're back in Wildstar, of course. Um, this is going to be a just general video. Um, this is actually going to be over the housing plots. I've actually just joined a group finder for a dungeon video that I'm about to make. But I figured I'd go over a couple of uh, quick things about the housing uh, for uh, Wildstar. This is your housing plot that you get. This is your billboard right here. And every day it gives you um, questing, hunting bonus, uh, group PVE bonus. And since I'm going to do questing, I mean a dungeon. I wonder if I'm going to do that. I might as well get that. But either way, it gives you d different bonuses. As you can see, here is my character. I have an XP bonus. Uh, that's 2% because I just did the uh, security, the Google Authenticator on it. Uh, I got a medium rest XP going on, um, another small XP rested bonus, then another medium, and then of course there's my 24 hour. Uh, there's a lot of rest XP for my bonus um, for my houses once you put the decor up. Uh, there's certain furnitures that give you uh, extra bonuses. Here I've planted a garden. You can plant gardens. I have a bunch of seeds that you get when you're, you're out depending on what your trade skills are. You can actually put up mines. Uh, you can put up uh, a lot of things, actually, training grounds. This is a fiesta little party that I made that gives you some uh, food to help you quest. This is just a little garden area, just a nice little, little place. This tree I just put in. And then we'll go into my, that's another little tree I put in, and we'll go into my spaceship home and as you can see I've placed a couple of things there's my bed it's pretty quaint pretty quaint as they say okay so here's how you actually do it this was all blank when I first got here I got this when I was level 14 I think you're supposed to get it a little later but I kind of cheated and ran to Ilum or Ilium can't remember and got my housing things and of course the spaceship I do believe was my collector's edition or pre-order bonus but so this was all blank and here is your landscape of where you actually can put things barbecue pit crafting kiosk if you want it is one gold and I'll be able to craft there if I want mineral deposit if you if your trade skills um, require minerals, you can actually grow your own relic um, excavation, which I kind of need to put one down. I haven't done that yet, but I kind of need to. And then, of course, there's my harvest, my thicket tier one. Which I kind of need to do that, too, but I'm not going to. And then here's your biodomes. Ferris wheel. You can put up a bunch of stuff, but you have to go find the actual um, fab kits along the way. And that's pretty much uh, the gist of that. And then you go over here to, I can remodel if I want. Like, um, let me see over here with my house. You see my house there? If I want to put the jumbo cockpit on, as you can see, it jumps up. It's four gold. If you want to do the walls, I can make lava walls. Entry, of course, I can make jumbo wings if I wanted. So you can actually get your um, decor up on your actually outside house. You can actually change with how your sky looks. Fireworks. Happy land has a little rainbow on it. Outer space is pretty cool. I like the outer space one. Also, here's your crate. So if you get um, decor or furniture along the way, you right click it and it actually goes to your crate and this is where you'll place it. Here's the vendor where you can actually go and buy new things. And as, as you see right here, there's the buffs on the side that tells you what it, what it does. You can do all types or you can just sort by whatever you want. Beds, pools building blocks, a whole bunch of stuff. 
And of course, you can escape. Down here in the right beside your bar, of course, is your recall home. That'll bring you back home whenever you're done questing and you want to rest because you want to make sure you put your guy back in the house or back on your homeland before you log out because you'll get a lot more rested XP uh, depending. As you see, my arrow keeps flashing because it's my quest that it wants me to do. Also, as you can see, here's other people's homes next to you. You can actually add friends as your neighbors and their houses will actually come next to you. And I do believe if I click, where is it? Is it here? Yes, here's your resident settings. Resource sharings, owner has 100%, neighbor says zero. You can actually change that with your friends and share resources amongst each other. I can rename my residence. Right now I'm calling it Honky Tonk. It's very nice. And then neighbors only, public, roommates only, which you can assign people roommates if you want. Or you can make this whole thing private. So a lot of customization in the houses. This is my guy. A little spell slinger. He's pretty good. He's pretty powerful. I pull a lot of thread. I don't mean to, but I do. Make sure that when you are about to play Wildstar that you actually have some good add-ons. Um, there's some really good add-ons out there. Another SCT actually um, helps you with the screen viewing. Um, you can level it down a little bit more. Um, the default has been giving some people headaches. Aethel Quest is a very nice questing add-on. It actually points to all my quest objectives in the world. At the beginning of this video, you saw a purple line run into my uh, garden. That was Aethel Quest saying, hey, you have something that you need to do. Better questing add-on is just changes the, the questing um, screen. It can be a little clunky sometimes. And my group has been found, so I'm going to do my group and make that video for you actually right now.